When I first started shopping at Costco, it was a little bit of a lost puppy, reaching for the most well-known things like meat in bulk, Fairy Life protein shakes, Kirkland protein bars, things that everybody knows are great high-protein Costco finds. But over time, I've developed a more well-rounded repertoire, more niche products, and how to use Costco finds together. Because if there's one downfall of buying things in bulk, it's how do you use it all? So today I'll show you some of my favorite products how to use them together to make things like dumpling and bone broth soup, jerky fried rice, protein pancake McGriddles, Cajun chicken sausage Alfredo, all kinds of stuff. We'll take it one at a time and then at the very end, I'll give you a shopping list so you can make everything you want. There'll be links in the description to any recipes you might be interested in. Let's kick things off with Cuisine Solutions Grass-Fed Sliced Sirloin. It comes with two packages, about one pound each, of perfectly slow-cooked beef. It has nearly a four-to-one protein-to-fat ratio and a really simple ingredient list, which I love to see. You could use this to make steak sandwiches, salads, a number of things, but I'm going to show you how to make quesadillas. I slice two poblano peppers and an onion into thin strips, and then I'll chop the steak up into small bite-sized pieces. Then we throw our veggies into some olive oil in a large skillet with a little fajita seasoning. Salt pepper works fine. Cook those for about 10 minutes. Near the end, throw some Mission Car Balance, which you can also find at Costco, onto a griddle or big skillet and top them with some cheese. And then turn the heat in your pan with the veggies off before you toss the steak in. We don't want to overcook it and it'll continue to cook once it's in these quesadillas. So once the cheese melts, add this to half of the quesadilla or the tortilla, fold it over and then continue cooking each side till they're nice and golden brown. I serve these with some salsa and some creamy jalapeno dip, which we'll make later in this video. And don't forget, there'll be a link to this recipe with macros and all that stuff in case you're interested in the description below. Next up, we have lightly breaded chicken breast chunks, which I'm assuming sell like hotcakes and everyone knows about because Costco came out with their own Kirkland brand. That's slightly better macros, actually. But these are a must have for anyone interested in Chinese American cooking or anyone who likes little crispy chicken nuggets. To make a healthier spin on sweet and sour chicken, you can just throw some of the chicken in an air fryer with some onion and peppers while you make a sweet and sour sauce with some canned pineapple and juice, a little sugar-free ketchup, rice vinegar, a little cornstarch, and then you'll throw that in a skillet once your chicken is nearly done. Thicken the sauce up, and then you just toss your veggies and chicken in. You can serve this with cauliflower rice or rice and cauliflower rice blend, which I always like to do. And again, I'll throw some more ideas for more sauces down in the description below. It's also worth mentioning this technique works well for like a buffalo or barbecue sauce. So you could have boneless wings. Next, we have Mediterranean grilled chicken skewers. I was a little skeptical of this. Most pre-cooked chicken breast is not good, but this is surprisingly moist, not overcooked, and a great grilled chicken replacement if you don't have a grill or don't feel like making grilled chicken. Coming fresh off my last video, which was sheet pan chicken snack wraps, this was just the natural choice here. So I roasted some cherry tomatoes and zucchini for about 30 minutes in a 425 degree oven, and then I chopped up the chicken, mixed in some feta cheese, and rolled it up in the same mission car balanced tortillas then you could either throw those in the oven for about 10 minutes to crisp them up or use a grill pan or a griddle to crisp all the sides and seal them melt that cheese hold everything together really good with some hummus or tzatziki really good prepped you can throw these in a 300 degree air fryer to crisp them back up and use these for snack prep this chicken also works great for grain bowls and salads and everything you would use grilled chicken for Ground bison is the only bulk protein on the list, but I thought it deserved to be highlighted. It's a very nutrient dense red meat option. There's no gamey flavor and you can use it in a variety of ways. In this recipe, I'm gonna show you meal prep bowls with a firecracker sauce, which is essentially buffalo sauce mixed with honey, rice vinegar, some spices, garlic, ginger. It's kind of like this Chinese American Panda Express knockoff. Goes really well with red meat. We're gonna serve it with roasted broccoli. Here I just tossed a pound of broccoli florets with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then threw it in an air fryer for about eight to 10 minutes. Cook the bison, throw in the sauce, let it thicken, and then you're just gonna serve this with some Costco riced cauliflower, and cilantro and lime rice. You can use any rice you want here. I like mixing these two together. It really masks the cauliflower grotesqueness and you can hide it a bit while increasing the volume of your meals. I just microwave those, serve the bison over it, 
Add the roasted broccoli, garnish with some sliced scallions, toasted sesame seeds, a little chili crisp, or some bachans Japanese barbecue sauce that you'll see in some of these other recipes. And you have four meal prep bowls packed with protein last year all week long. The next two high protein Costco finds are the steamed chicken and vegetable dumplings and chicken bone broth. While the bone broth is going to be rich in collagen, so not the most amino acid rich protein source, it's a really great way to add some protein to any dish or your diet. Good for the gut as well. To make a simple dumpling soup, I will fry off some aromatics in a little toasted sesame oil or olive oil and then add some gochujang or some kind of chili paste. Chili oil would work fine. And then you're just gonna deglaze and bring the broth up to temperature. Pour it over the dumplings, top with some kimchi. You can also find at Costco, a little chili oil, some scallion greens. I remember when Trader Joe's was the only chicken sausage option around, but now you can find these all over the place and in Costco. These are really good, and I'll show you how to make a Cajun chicken sausage alfredo. Two ways, you can just throw some sliced chicken sausage into a pan, brown those before you add some chopped vegetables. This is zucchini, bell pepper, onion. You could do cherry tomatoes as well. I cover that and kind of steam them. You can also roast these in an oven. I'll hit them with a little olive oil, Cajun seasoning, and then you're gonna make a high protein Alfredo sauce with cottage cheese. Again, all these things will be down in the description below, specific amounts if you wanna make this. And so you make this Alfredo, add it to some cooked pasta and then toss it with your sausage and veggies, whichever route you go about browning them. And this version I topped with some shredded cheddar, covered it to melt and topped with a little bit of parsley. Very good, very, very high protein. I wanted to keep this list primarily centered around ingredients that you could make full meals with, but this Korean barbecue jerky definitely deserves to be mentioned. It's super good on its own, but you can also use it to make things like fried rice when you don't have the energy or the proteins on hand to make like chicken or steak fried rice. Chop this up, it's super easy to incorporate into something like a riced cauliflower stir fry that you see here. Just scramble an egg in, add some bachans, Japanese barbecue sauce that you saw in the dumpling soup, then add your jerky. You could also add this to something like that bone broth or noodles, ramen, something like that. Super easy to repurpose for more than just jerky snacking, although it is very good for that as well. When putting together this list, I also wanted to stay away from protein supplements. So no bars, protein drinks, things like that. But I couldn't stay away from the frozen protein pancakes. And I paired them with some turkey bacon, which is surprisingly good. I normally hate turkey bacon, but this stuff is good. And added some folded eggs. Super easy to make these, just swirl them around, flip them over, and you can cut these into whatever size you need. I topped them with cheese, and you see where this is going maybe. We're going like a protein McGriddle knockoff. So we got some folded eggs with melted cheese on top. There's our microwaved protein pancakes. And because each pack comes with three, we're just going with a double decker. Kind of like Big Mac, a Big Mac griddle maybe. Pretty good. You could maybe reheat another package and then you'd have six. So you could make three smaller McGriddles, maybe wrap them up reheat later in the week if you didn't want to go uh, ridiculous like this. But I'm here to inspire, okay? You do whatever you want. The most boring entry on this list has to be non-fat Greek yogurt, low-fat cottage cheese. We're highlighting this because creamy jalapeno dip, and I guess the Cajun Alfredo is made with cottage cheese, but the creamy jalapeno Greek yogurt dip is served with a lot of items on here. Super easy to make this. We got pickled jalapeno, salsa verde, a couple tomatillos, some cilantro, and ranch seasoning. You can also buy that in bulk at Costco, which I highly recommend. Blend all that together, fold it in with about two cups of non-fat Greek yogurt, and now you have a high protein dip that's great with like veggies, chips, but I like to keep this in the fridge and serve it with tacos, quesadillas, the egg bite breakfast tacos that you'll see next. While this last one isn't the leanest thing on the list, it's very good. It's something my wife Vanessa has kind of cooked up and she takes the Starbucks egg bites, air fries them, 
and puts them on a kind of charred, warmed up tortilla. And I kind of wanted to put a little spin on it. So we used some of the refried beans, also from Costco, good protein and fiber option, the carb balanced tortillas, and then some smashed bacon and Gouda egg bites. Doesn't sound bacon and Gouda would go on a taco, but it works, promise you. And then we added some of that creamy jalapeno dip, little pico. I mean, this is a very hearty, indulgent breakfast, but pretty darn good. We've had some really good breakfast tacos in Austin. You have to try this one. And that's a wrap. Hope you found this video helpful. Once again, there's a link in the description for a full write-up here along with my shopping list you can download for free.